When I was in high school, I took Spanish class for a year. Now, more than a decade later, for some reason, the phrase I remember best is huevos benitos, which means pretty eggs, which is really only useful on Easter. So, today, we're going to be making our own 3D perler bead huevos bonitos. Perfect for your Easter holiday, certainly, but they can also be modified to be nifty little ring boxes for just about any occasion. Join me, won't you? Now here we've got all the pieces we'll need for an egg. This can be a little tricky to explain, so I'm going to break down the pieces into categories going from the top of the egg to the bottom. These are the top four pieces. Then we'll have two small rings. Then two medium rings. Next is three large rings. These are the widest part of the egg. Then this layer is the incomplete large ring. It's the same size as the large rings, just missing some of the beads on the front and back comes with this little guy, who's just two beads. That's going to act as a kind of a catch piece to keep the egg closed. Then another large ring, followed by two medium rings. One more small ring. And finally, the bottom piece. Now let's get to gluing. And excuse me for repeating myself here, but I want this to be as clear as possible. So once again, we put together the top four pieces. Easy enough. Then the two small rings are next. Then the two medium rings, and three large rings. Then I'll attach the catch piece. Now I'm going to jump over here to the five bottom layers, first gluing the two medium rings, then the small ring, then the bottom piece. Now, on top of those five bottom layers, I'll attach the incomplete large ring. If we put the egg halves together, you'll see that the catch piece will settle nicely into the front of the incomplete large ring. But we've still got the back open, right? Well, that's for our tiny hinge that we'll use to connect the pieces. I put a couple layers of glue on there to keep it nice and strong. Now that's a huevo bonito. The colors are all up to you, but you can use these exact same ring templates to create any kind of Easter egg you want. Let's do a couple more for fun. Nice! I like the cool zigzag pattern going on with this one. If you're good at visualizing what the rings will look like when all stacked up, there's no limit to the designs you can make. And they're super sturdy too! Fill them with candies and treats, use them for decoration, hide them in your yard, and enjoy them for years to come. Click the eggs right there to get some more photos to help you make your own. Check out some of my other projects, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. Wikipedia defines Easter eggs as an intentional inside joke, a hidden message, or a secret feature of an... Wait, wait a second, this is not what I want. There we go.